Hi campers, this is Darren with My RV Works, and today we're up in Port Angeles, Washington. Um, what I want to talk to you about on this video is a product from Lippert called Correct Track. It's not a commercial for Lippert, it's not a commercial for Correct Track. They ain't paying me no money, so I'm not going to advertise their product. Um, I put it on my trailer. Now, this is the reason why. I used to carry a very heavy mobile cart with me. Uh, if you look on some of my gallery pictures, you might see me with a cart, a little motorized cart. It's a toolbox. That weighs 1,400 pounds. It's made of steel. I never made it to be toted around on these things. But what that did was that elongated my axles, my, my leaf springs, and it made my trailer track incorrectly. Okay? And so that was an issue. Um, so I did some research. I went to a school in Elkhart, Indiana for a week. It wasn't exactly a week, but it was a Lippert training for their slide rooms and leveling systems. And one of the training classes that they had it on was this Correct Track product. And I'm like, hey, let me check that out. And it solved my problem. So with all this weight in my trailer, I was able to make sure that my axles track straight. And I'm gonna get into a little more detail on that. I even have a grease board and a marker pin. <laughs> Hang on for that. So, um, but that's what I want to get into in this video is, is how to make, how to align your trailer axles and make sure that your trailer is going down the road directly behind your tow vehicle and you're not dog legging. Uh, if you have two axles like I do, you want to make sure that th both of those axles are perfectly aligned to each other and that those axles are aligned to your tow vehicle. Um, if not, then you're going to be scrubbing tires. Uh, on this rear axle here, it was the one that was really out of, out of kilter a little bit and I just recently had to buy a new tire. I didn't even think to take a picture of it, but it was really bad because I'm gonna exaggerate here, but if these are my uh, aligned axles, the one in the back was kind of going on the road like that. Um, now, when I had my 1400 pound toolbox on it, hey, perfect, Let's look. it was straight, but I'm not carrying that thing around anymore. It was getting stuck and it was just too impractical to do mobile service for uh, out here in the rain and getting stuck all the time. So I, I um, parked the, the I parked that, and uh, so now I'm not carrying all that weight around with me, but now my axles are not straight, as evidenced by the fact that my tires are scrubbing. So if you're looking at your tires, there's your homework assignment. Do you need to align your axle? Uh, you can do it yourself. Well, yeah, if, if you're a mechanically inclined type person, you, you could do it yourself. I did it myself, um, nothing special. And if not, uh, there's enough dealerships out there and service centers that'll do it. If you're up here in uh, Port Angeles, I'll do it for you. Um, so let me get a little more into detail on what this Correct Track is, what it does. Uh, forget the name Correct Track. Like I said, I'm not getting any advertising money for advertising a certain product, but um, perhaps there's other manufacturers out there that do this. I don't know. But I do know that this product is on quite a few RVs because I've seen it on some brand new RVs and I've also seen it on some aftermarkets. So we're going to get into some of the pros and cons of this system. Um, okay, so let's jump into that right now. Okay, so what we have here is the correct track as it is installed. Now if you look inside, you'll see my old... Here, let me get my finger. This is the old hanger for the leaf springs right here. And then this one is the correct track that's attached to it. Now the first thing you're going to notice is it's going to raise your trailer by two inches. In my case, that was a wonderful thing. But there are some people that do not want their trailer raised two inches. Um, so you need to understand that if you're going to put this on your trailer, it will raise your trailer two inches. The next thing you're going to notice is this little stop sign looking guy. Okay. Now, as you rotate this, you're going to move. This is the hanger for the leaf spring. As you rotate it, you're going to move your leaf spring forward or aft. Okay, now if you look far over there, I've got another one over there for that leaf spring. Okay, I've got one right here. And then on the back, I've got, I don't know if you can see them from here. Let me look. Uh, way in the back, back over there, right there's another one. So forget this one. There's a, a correct track on that leaf spring. There's one on. Hold on. There's one on that one, there's one on that one. And these two are what you're going to adjust to align your axles. Hopefully that makes sense. So there's a total of four, hold on, back up a little bit. There's a total of four of these assemblies, okay? Um, now, now that we understand what it looks like, um, let me show you how to align your trailer. The first thing that we're gonna wanna do when we when we align our trailer axles is we're going to disconnect from our tow vehicle and so I want to measure 
like from the ground to a, a reference point on here. And once I disconnect, I want to put the trailer back to that same reference point. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want my trailer to be, um, when I'm aligning my axles, I want the trailer to be at the travel uh, angle, the travel orientation. Okay. So in this instance, we're looking at 14 inches. 14 inches from the ground to right here. Okay. So um, I just pulled it five feet, so I don't have a pin through there. And uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and drop the trailer here and uh, we'll get it to 14 inches. Okay, um, we've got our trailer to 14 inches. Now, a couple other things to take note is not only does a trailer need to be level, but it, the whole surface that it's on needs to be level. That just makes sense, correct? Uh, you can't have it sideways or on an incline. I mean, you're, you're just throwing your results right out the window. So try to find a level spot. Um, and uh, the other thing you need to do on, on this system is you need to pull forward at least one tire rotation. In my instance, I had to back into this spot here to get a level spot, but then I came forward a tire rotation on my trailer's wheels um, to get them you know, squared up and get all the tension up. You know when you, you're turning, you're kind of scrubbing your tires or when you're going backwards. So, so level spot, one rotation forward, trailer level on a level spot. Now, they have these laser alignment systems. Wonderful, great, I'm glad they have them. I got an old school plumb bob. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the very front of this trailer hitch and we're gonna come down here. And I'm going to drive a nail into the ground where my center point is. And that nail is something I'm gonna use as a reference to do my tape measuring. So, I wanted to get it to stop swinging. You see what it's doing? It's trying to swing on me. Okay, got my center point on the front. So this is gonna be my reference. Right there. So this, pit, this nail that I just drove is gonna be the reference. And so now I'm gonna go down to each tire. I'll show you on one side. Now on this tire here, it's the front axle of the two, I've got a forward axle here and I've got one right behind it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, it, it's getting dark so I got a flashlight. So I'm gonna take this center rib, the center of this center rib, and I'm gonna do the same trick. So I'm gonna put my plumb bob on it, okay? Get it to stop swinging. And, uh, cause this is the center of my tire, correct? Get this stringy thing out of here. Okay, it fell in its groove. All right, stop swinging, you're messing up my results. So I'm right in the center of the wheel here. And right, I've got my reference point on the ground. Okay, I don't know where you're looking, but I'm driving a nail directly where the plumb bob pointed to. So I've made a reference mark on the ground where this tire is. And so now I need to make a reference mark between these two tires. So I'm gonna take the tape measure, go in the center, and I'm kinda, wedge it right in there so it doesn't move, okay? I'm on the leading edge of this rim right here. And so I'm gonna go to the leading edge of this rim. And I have 33 and a quarter inches from the leading edge of that rim to the leading edge of this rim. So 33 and a quarter. That's a number I'm gonna write down. Um, I've got my nail head right there and I'm gonna hook my tape measure right onto the nail head. Um, if you're doing this with a second person, great, but I work alone most of the time, so I've got to come up with all these different ways to do it by myself. So, take this around here. When I dropped my landing gear, I made sure that my pads were sideways, so let's pull the tape tight. So I've got, there's 11 feet. What is that? There's a glare. 11 feet, uh, 4 and 3 quarter is what I'm going to call this one. 11 feet, 4 and 3 quarter. Okay, now we're checking the other side. This one's 11 feet, five, and we'll call that one uh, what, five eighths. I'm gonna call that one five eighths. So 11 feet, five, and five eighths. Okay, so here's the results of my test. My two rear axles were exactly parallel with each other at 33 and a quarter inches, but look at that front axle. He, one side, this side's 11, four, and three quarter. They're about an inch off. Um, so this side needs to come forward and then this one also needs to come forward the same amount or this side needs to go backwards and this side needs to go backwards the same amount 
I'm, um, I like thinking, let's be lazy. So let's um, decide to just change one side. So now I'll show you how to do that. With this system, every turn of this cam equals a quarter inch of adjustment. So if I need to come up with like an inch, I, what I've decided to do, it's gonna be more work for me, but that's okay. In the process of doing this, I might find other things that might be wrong. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is rotate this two turns, which is a quarter plus a quarter equals a half. Do the same to the one behind. And then over on the other side over there, uh, two turns, which will give me that one inch change that I'm desiring. Does that make sense? So each each one of these turns, so will, will give me a, um, a half a quarter inch each time. So yes, I could turn the whole thing, but uh, I don't know that I'm going to get a full inch out of it. I would need to make four turns. But anyway, two turns on this side, two turns on the other side, opposite each other, and um, that will align my axles. Okay. Now, one, one important note that I wanted to mention in the very beginning of this when I was talking about all the prep that you need to do is you do need to make sure your tires are inflated to their proper spec. Um, I, I, watched, I watched that segment again. I'm like, ooh, I forgot to mention that. That's kind of important. You don't want to align your whole trailer to a tire that's not exactly inflated. So, um, so that is what you need to do. Now, from here on, you don't need to watch me take the bolts out and align it. it it's enough, I think... I could shut the video down. It's enough for you to see how to align your trailer and that there is an aftermarket system where you can adjust it. I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here. Like I was mentioning, you don't need to watch me, you know, fight to get those bolts out and turn them each two turns. That's wasting your time. The value that I wanted to put into this was how to align your axles, how to measure your axles, and that there are some aftermarket products for that. Don't forget to take the nails out of the ground. If you're doing this on concrete, you could use a little Sharpie and make an X. Um, one last thing, uh, a question might be, um, do you do this with your slide rooms in or your slide rooms out? Here's the important part. When you align your axle, you need to align your axle with your uh, going down the road weight, if that makes sense. So if you're going to go camping um, and you're going to have your barbecue grill, your bicycles, and all these types of things inside that we all enjoy when we're camping, and um, uh, our slide rooms are in, etc., that's the configuration that your RV needs to be in when you align your axle, okay? Uh, because that's what matters. That's what's going down the road. Uh, you're not going down the road with your bicycle not in it. The bicycle needs to be on it. Those types of things. So I hope that makes sense there. So traveling, so pack your RV like you're going to go traveling down the road with it, like we're going to go camping with it. And um, that's when you that that's what you take all your measurements from. Uh, so previously, when I was saying I had this 1,400 pound tool cart, um, uh, I had that loaded inside of this trailer when. Um, when I did my axle alignment. And it's interesting because when I did that with the weight on it, it, it showed that everything was level. So um, that tells me that I may have had more weight on one side than the other because of that. Interesting. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I'll put it back in and see if it's aligned again. I'm not doing that. So we're at the end of this. So um, I hope this added value to you. If you didn't know how to align your axle or know that there's something, I hope that adds value. That's how I do it. They do have some leveling systems. Uh, every tool that I used for aligning it, you can do yourself. Um, a tape measure and a nail and a plumb bob. It's easy enough. If you do find that it's way out of whack, like mine's an inch out, so that means my trailer is kind of dog track, dog legging. You know, it's kind of going down the down the highway sideways, very subtly. It's only an inch off. Um, I would go ahead and do it tonight, but it's gotten really cold. When the sun went down, it's I don't know what the temperature is, but it's it's gotten really cold here, and it's also dark. So not too crazy about doing this in the dark. So I might pick another day to actually do go under the trailer and jack it up and and change each bolt out so um if this added value thumb it up subscribe like it share it with your friends and happy campers say my rv works this is darren signing off from port angeles washington <laughs>